Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some deck that I've discovered very recently. It isn't stolen, I just was experimenting with decks or two and I found out that actually, to my surprise, apes are very good archetype against the vikings. So I actually missed the skeletons here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna be playing this deck because it's absolutely excellent against Viking Bridgespawn and as far, as far as I'm informed, we're gonna be having this meta for uh, quite a while, so you may as well just look for some decks that will absolutely carry you in this, I won't say upcoming meta because it's or currently ongoing, yeah, on ongoing meta. Let's keep it that way. So, we're gonna be playing with Apes uh, Cycle, which is gonna be very quick cycle with two tinies. Uh, Obviously you can vary your variation, I like this one, because you pretty much uh, get a lot of control with this. He also gets me a second time in this video, that's gonna be a very cool connection out of him. Next time I'll have to remember to kite with tinies because they cannot be blitzed. Wow, that was, that was very surprising, but at the same time I kinda needed this cold shower, so right now I can just stay focused on the game. He's gonna be playing can obviously EQ will be the best response, I didn't even need that, but at the same time I kinda just want uh, to uh, make my apes connect a little quicker. Very cool skeletons out of him and yeah, this game will be pretty much decided by whoever can get more attacks and if we somehow stop our attacks perfectly, it's gonna be decided by the spell cycle and uh, I don't think that uh, anything in this game kinda beats the uh, beats the earthquake uh, rolling steel uh, cycle except for a missile and uh, the the drawback of a missile is that yeah it's it's, it's good only in spell cycle so if your opponent uh, will like play a normal deck that isn't like a cheese or a gimmick you are uh, always better with using like normal spells which I consider uh, rolling steel I mean uh, sorry uh, flying bomb poison and earthquake and yeah rolling steel also is a normal spell but I'm talking about big spells because like small spells are always up for debate and uh, big spells are kind of what determines the soul of your deck or uh, of how do you want to approach the position because okay he's gonna be actually playing a lot of runners here uh, so i have to be very careful with this defense but i think at the end i got it yeah <laughs> that was scary for a second four runners coming down the lane yeah definitely nothing that i would wish upon my worst enemy i'm gonna play oh it's the overtime yeah we're gonna just take the tower we won't be prolonging the game, wasting your time, my time, and the time of the faggot who will lose for medals to us. Eh, fortunate or unfortunate for him, it's up for him to decide. Maybe I kinda hinted him that runner cycle isn't the deck of choice. And our second game in this video will be against Vayne. He's gonna be having 1.2k medals, which is pretty decent score already. We can consider him being a very decent player. We're gonna be playing against Steel Bait. Uh, it's probably a Steel Bait. I would love to believe it is. And against Steel Bait, we're gonna be actually having a very good matchup because of the one card, which is a Fire Tiny. Fire Tiny basically counters the whole archetype because uh, all the phones die to Fire Tiny. And if you play it fast enough like I did right here, it's gonna completely counter the phone cat. So that's gonna be pretty much the interaction we're gonna base our game around. We're gonna play apes right now and I'm gonna play EQ on his phones. Yeah, uh, I was expecting him to play phone hut, but phones are also fine. Also, I wasted a, yeah, I, I wasted the uh, rolling steel, which I would love to keep against the bomb girl. And I want to keep the can against the skeleton keg, so Already very good job of vein by like messing up my cycle. I will have to just uh, fix it in some way in uh, uh, in the near future. But right now we're gonna just be playing a video game. We're gonna play obviously a far tiny here. He's gonna be actually playing a mirror variation. So he's gonna spend some some back on this attack. But at the same time we're Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna just play Fire Tiny here, there's no reason not to. Honestly, I'm gonna play Earthquake here, 
get some damage on the tower and the apes will break through. So yeah, that, that's gonna be a very good matchup for us and it's already proving because frankly he doesn't have a good response against our ape because we're gonna EQ every single time he's building or the troops that he have placed. So I would say as a steel bait you have a very hard, uh, very, very difficult challenge to uh, actually beat our deck. Uh, I would say the best bet that you have is to stack bomb girls and hope that I won't like eliminate them because bomb girls kinda s scale asymmetrically so if you get uh, too many on the board at once your opponent won't be able to take uh, them out with spells and then every single troop that he plays into them will be just giving them value so yeah that's gonna be the game number two very easy matchup and uh, props for Vayn for even trying because out, uh, out easily rage uh, at that point, like, I don't know, rolling steel, earthquake, apes, <laughs> fire tiny, that's a pain, that's a painful matchup. Let's jump to game number three. And in the game number three we are against Master Bater. If I recall correctly, he was playing a steel bait recently, but right now he's... Oh, so sorry, that was another video. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to counter this phone keg fast enough, I kinda need to fix my reaction time in the future defense. Obviously this mother devil spawns the last devil just to annoy me, but it's not gonna really matter because Gunner was there, I absolutely take care of it. So, uh, my opponent plays a mother devil which is very interesting pick. Uh, with cards that he is showing afterwards. So I'm gonna play a rolling steel here, counter this one, ca get a counter on the phone keg. Obviously, uh, Fire Tiny is the like the biggest hard counter against the uh, phone keg in the entire game because it's 1 4 3. It uh, pretty much uh, cannot be countered unless your opponent is crazy enough to play bullets or the heavier spell on the fire tiny so yeah that's gonna be a very cool tool if you want to use it uh, yourself uh, i definitely uh, use fire tiny in many of my decks just just for this reason that i can uh, basically win uh, any matchup against healer because uh, not only is this annoying for them it's pretty much unwinnable for them if you're if you pretty much play well so right now I'll have to use Rolling Steel for that, obviously it's not as good of a trade, but it's still a fine trade and you definitely still should go for it. He's gonna play Blitz, which is an incorrect move, but at the same time we are having, uh, once again, a very uh, very beautiful matchup, which uh, I don't think I'm gonna be throwing away anytime soon, so I'm gonna just play Ice Tiny to tank for my Apes, and then Apes will be supported by EQ. Very basic combination, I think my opponent will just resign here because frankly there's nothing he that, that can be done in this matchup and I absolutely agree with him. Uh, like I've said, this deck not only will counter the uh, Viking Bersam but also will have an absolutely fabulous matchup against Steelbait. So yeah, definitely try it out if you haven't already and we're gonna jump to the game number 4 of today's video. And we're in the next game against Fent Lover, who is gonna be having 16 medals and will very likely try to take our medals, which we will absolutely try to defend. So he's gonna be playing Skeletal Horde against, against my apes, which is definitely the way. I was hoping that I'm gonna get an Earthquake in my first hand, but unfortunately that's not gonna be the case. We're gonna defend this Fond King though, which was very cost efficient. Like. I couldn't imagine more cost-efficient defense against this phone kick unless I was uh, I were to replace the gunner with the uh, with the can. But let then uh, can doesn't counter attack. Gunner does. Remember, folks, very good rule of thumb. If you want to improve at the game, uh, troops before spells, troops before buildings, because troops like. Uh, make your game uh, more dynamic and in more dynamic games you can just outplay your opponent better. If you were to play uh, like the entire game by, I don't know, throwing spells at your opponent, you'll be uh, at a huge risk that your opponent will just survive your attacks 
uh, and basically move on with the game. Uh, but with troops, there's always something to worry about. For instance, my opponent still has to defend this able because this gun was absolutely spell like that, that's that's the uh, exception where you want to play spells instead of uh, troops because like. Buildings are very good at uh, defending uh, at defending troops, so spells are just very cool uh, at countering them. That's why you kinda have a couple of uh, couple of spells in any deck, and sometimes you have a building if you struggle with defense. But sometimes you don't even have to defend. For instance, many flying robot decks nowadays uh, just uh, don't uh, incorporate the idea of using spells. I mean, sorry. Of using buildings, so uh, yeah, I I was trying to defend this piercing archer, but at the same time, it's not gonna be too huge of a loss if I don't. I'm gonna play an ice tiny right here. I'm gonna play skeletons to make the most cost efficient defense of all time. He's gonna even add a piercing archer to my balance. Absolutely love to see it. I'm gonna play earthquake to predict his skeleton horde, but he's gonna play can instead. Fair enough, I was predicting the different cards, so obviously I got the wrong result. Usually that that's how life works, you try to do one thing, but the correct thing is uh, the other one, so you just have to spend more mana. I'm gonna play right now Abes just to kite this uh, Fall King, I'm gonna play Rolling Steel to predict the Skeleton Horde, and he's not gonna even play it, I think my opponent just resign because there's no way he can afford these apes damage so yeah that's gonna be the game number four of today's video very solid deck i'm gonna repeat it once again because why not try this deck for yourself because it just uh, does wonders if you know how to play the cycle decks i'm gonna see you guys in a game number five the last game of today's video and it looks like for us the best was saved for last so we're gonna be facing lord of pain for who it's known for playing Dark Knight, so that's not gonna be obviously a very good matchup for us, unless he changes the deck as well, because he starts with Piercing Archer and Cannon, so I would say another uh, very likely option is that he's playing Remiali's deck, because if I were to see correctly, he was actually using this deck. Uh, that's gonna be actually very fortunate for us, if he uh, uses uh, the Remiali's deck, we're gonna be playing apes and obviously uh, way better building against apes is bomb tower than can he's gonna actually not defend these apes which is very strange because uh, he should be defending or at least counter pushing so yeah that's gonna be a very weird way to end this video because i kind of don't want to three start this guy but it looks like he's just giving up which is hmm. I think I just have to mentally accept it. I wanted to have some strong finish to today's video, but we're gonna get the easiest game because he gave up instantly. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, playthrough through this deck. Uh, I didn't manage to get a one Viking Bridge Spam player, which uh, kind of sucks because this deck uh, just works wonders. Maybe I will record it in the near future once again just to prove how good this deck uh, is actually against Viking Bridgestone and yeah if you aren't I mean if you are uh, interested in my content definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already I post the content uh, from Boom Arena on a daily basis every day at 6 p.m. Uh, European time and yeah um, if you enjoy this content uh, make sure to subscribe thanks for watching till the end of the video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boomerina.